Next component to be discussed is arts. Quarter 2, Module 1, the East Asian Arts. Now we have our learning objectives. Identify the elements and principles of arts in the production of arts and crafts. Recognize the arts and crafts from East Asian countries. Let us discuss first the China. The arts of East Asia, China. The elements of arts are both fun and useful. Remember line, shape, form, space, texture, value, and color. Knowing these elements will allow you to analyze, appreciate, write, and chat about art, as well as being of help should you create art yourself. Number two, the primary visual design elements being discussed are form, material, and color. These elements have been used in traditional Chinese design in a manner that represents Chinese culture. Number three, landscape painting was regarded as the highest form of Chinese painting. They also considered the three concepts of art heaven and earth, and humankind, or known as yin and yang. Number four, silk was often used as the medium to paint upon, but it was quite expensive. When Han court Enoch Kai Lun invented paper in the first century AD, it provided not only a cheap and widespread medium of writing but painting became more economical number five chinese art expresses the human understanding of the relationship between nature and humans this is evident in the form of painting of landscapes bamboo birds and flowers and etc this might be called a metaphysical Taoist aspect of chinese painting Number six, calligraphy is the art of beautiful writing. Traditional painting involves essentially the same techniques as calligraphy and is done with brush dipped in black or colored ink. Oils are not used. In calligraphy, the popular materials which paintings are made of are paper and silks. Poets write their calligraphy on their paintings. Number 7. East Asian temples and houses have sweeping roofs because people believe that those roofs will protect them from the elements of water, wind, and fire. Buddhists believe that roofs help ward off evil spirits which were deemed to be straight lines. The figure at the tips are called roof guards. Number 8. Straight Incline is a type of roof in traditional Chinese architecture which is more economical for a common Chinese architecture. Number 9. Multi-inclined is a roof with two or more section inclined. These roofs are used for residences of wealthy Chinese. Number 10. Sweeping is a type of roof that has curves that rise at its corners. These roofs are usually reserved for temples and palaces, although this may also be found in the homes of a wealthy Chinese. Number 11. Peking Opera Face Painting or Jingju Lianpu is done with different colors in accordance with the performing character's personality and historical assessment. The hero-type characters are normally painted in relatively simple colors, whereas enemies, bandits, rebels, and others have formed more complicated designs on their faces. Number 12. Paper was first invented by Kai Lun on the Eastern Han Dynasty in China. 
It is one of the greatest contributions of ancient China in the development of arts. The earliest documentation showing paper folding is a picture of small paper boat in edition of Tractus de Spera Mundi from 1490 by Johannes de Sacrobosco. Number 13. Decorative Chinese paper cuttings are usually symmetrical in design when unfolded and adapt the 12 animals of the Chinese zodiac as themes and motifs and mostly chose the red color. Number 14. Jianzi is the first type of paper cutting design since paper was invented by Chinese. The cutouts are also used to decorate doors and windows. They are sometimes referred to as Chuang Hua, meaning a window flower. Another country to be discussed is Japan. Japanese art covers a wide range of styles and media including ancient pottery, sculpture, ink painting and calligraphy on silk and paper, ukiyo-e paintings and woodblock prints, ceramics, origami, and more recently manga, which is modern Japanese cartoons and comics along with myriad of other types. Number 1. Woodblock printing is a technique of printing text images or patterns used widely throughout East Asia. It originated in China as a method of printing on textiles but eventually became a method of printing on paper. The most common theme in Japan for printmaking is current scenes from everyday life. It narrates the scene and is often packed with figures and detail. Printing subjects or themes are scenes from everyday life, narrative scenes crowned with figures and details. Number 2. The best known and most popular style of Japanese art is Yokiyobi, which is the Japanese for picture of the floating world, and it is related to the style of woodblock printmaking that shows scenes of harmony and everyday living. Yokiyobi art was produced in a diversity of different media, including painting, and became an art domain of the upper classes and royalty, but later was also produced by the common people. Number 3. Kabuki makeup or Kesho is already in itself an interpretation of the actor's own role through the medium of the facial features. On stage, this interpretation becomes a temporalization of makeup in collaboration with the audience. Number 4. Kabuki makeup is also another way of face painting, which has two types the standard makeup applied to most actors and komadori makeup usually applied to villain and heroes. An example of face painting is. Mokimi Goma or Suji Goma, where the lines are painted onto actor's face. These are then smudged to soften them. Number 5. The term origami came from ori meaning folding and kami meaning paper. It is the traditional Japanese art of paper folding which started in 17th century AD and was popularized internationally in the mid-1900s. It eventually evolved into a modern art form. Number 6. In Japan, knot tying is called Hana Musubi. It emphasizes braids and focuses on individual knots. The last country for East Asian country is Korea. Number 1. The history of Korean painting dates back to 108 CE when it first appeared as an independent form. It is said that until the Joseon dynasty, the primary influence of Korean paintings were Chinese paintings. However, Korean paintings have subjects such as landscapes, facial features, Buddhist topics, and an emphasis on celestial observation in keeping with the rapid development of Korean astronomy. Number 2. 
mountains, and water are important features in Korean landscape painting because it is a site for building temples and buildings. Landscape paintings represent both portrayal of nature itself and a codified illustration of the human view of nature and the world. Painting subjects or themes are divided into five categories. Landscape painting, minwa, the traditional folk painting, four gracious plants like plum blossoms, orchids or wild orchids, chrysanthemums and bamboo, bamboo and portraits. Number three, Korean masks called tal or teal originated with religious meaning just like the mask of other countries which also have religious artistic origins. Korea has a rich history of mask. They use it in a funeral services to help vanish spirit or evil spirits and theater plays dating back to the prehistoric age. Number 4. Not tying in Korea a decorative knot work is known as made up of dare, a double connection knot. It is often called Korean knot work or Korean knots. It's activity time. Ready, set, go. Identification. Instruction. Identify the following pictures based on the countries under East Asia. Therefore, the answer could either be China, Japan, or Korea. Write the name of the country inside the box. Checking time. Identification. So here are our answers for our activity. For number one. The picture is from Korea. Number two, Japan. Number three, China. Number four, China. And number five, Japan. Write the score over the total number of items. Very good and job well done.